Hi, it's Jess from Jess Likes Homes with Keller Williams Realty, coming to you today with another episode of Fresh from the Farm. My goal for today is to share with you some of the questions you might wanna ask an agent when interviewing them to sell your home. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna answer those questions for myself so that you realize that I'm actually the only agent you'll need to interview. <laughs> It's important to ask the agent that you hope to work with what their experience level is with selling homes, how much they've worked in the area that your home is located in, and whether or not they are a full-time agent. You want to make sure that your agent knows how to market a home in your area, knows all of the different tactics to find buyers, and has the time available to do so because it's their full-time job. I've sold almost 100 homes during my time in real estate, and I've actually clocked 9,000 hours in this job, which, according to Malcolm Gladwell's 10,000 hours to become an expert principal, means I'm pretty much an expert. The list to sales price ratio is the price that the agent listed the home at versus the price that it sold for. In our market in Dane County, the average list to sales price ratio for agents right now in 2021 is 103% of the sales price. My current average of list to sales price ratio is 106%. So over the average agent in the market, I'm actually gonna net you 3% more on average in your home sale. You should also be asking agents about their average days on market. What that means is the number of days that it takes from when a home hits the market for showings and when it has an accepted offer. The MLS average for 2021 in Dane County is 21 days on market. My average is eight days on market before receiving an accepted offer, which means I am 13 days better on average than the average agent. Marketing plans come in all shapes and sizes, and they are not all created equal. My marketing plan starts with a strong market analysis. I spend several hours researching comparable sold properties in your area to make sure that your home is positioned at a price that will cause it to sell in today's market. After that, I bring in my stager to consult with you on how to set up your home for showings and photos. And then we bring in a professional photographer and videographer to make sure your internet presence is popping. A lot of agents after that will do what are called the three P's of real estate. They will put your home on the MLS, put a sign in your yard, and then pray another agent comes in to sell it. I do the fourth P of real estate, which is prospect for buyers daily. I enjoy marketing your home through door knocking, cold calling, and many other internet resources where I put your home to make sure it gets the most exposure in the market. You'll want to find out if the agent that you're interviewing is a solo agent or if they're part of a team. There are pros and cons to each approach. If you work with a solo agent, you'll know that you're likely only communicating with one person throughout the entire transaction, but that person may have other clients to manage, so they may not be as readily available to, to help you when you need it. A team approach means you'll likely have multiple people touching your sale at, at any time, and you may, um, have better access to them throughout the process. Here at Jess Lex Homes, I am the sole head agent, along with my assistant, Abby Lex, who you'll hopefully get to meet soon in a Fresh From The Farm video. And together, we provide a rock solid customer experience for our clients. Last but not least, make sure you ask the agent you're interviewing for some references. At Jess Lex Homes, we've worked with so many sellers over the past few years, and we would be happy to provide you with the contact information for our satisfied clients. This has been Fresh from the Farm with Jess Lex Homes. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Back to work! <laughs>